Here we go. I wonder what's up for us next. Probably some awful, awful shit. Like this is this this fucking tower has just been brutal so far. I don't expect it to get any less brutal as time goes on. This room doesn't look too bad. Bit of a speed run thing, but that's fine. Just oh cool, neat. Oh, I see. I see what happens here. Cool. Can we reset that? Yeah, we can. Cool. Fucking. Oh, I really hope I'm quick enough. Oh, oh, okay. Good thing I used up literally all my health so I can just immediately die in this room, though. I thought that was pretty cool. <laughs> Com completely intentional, I swear. That's that's just how I play games. I think to myself, you know, this game would just be... Please stop sticking to walls, messenger. Please. No, I didn't want you to do that either. Can you just behave yourself? Like, I feel like I'm telling you to do one thing and you're like, you know what, fuck you, I won't do what you told me. I've been listening to too much Rage Against the Machine. Just... Let, let, let me go my own way. I'm a ninja. I, I don't follow commands. That's that's lies. That's not how ninjas work at all. Ninjas love following commands. The the hired assassins or whatever, right? That's the that's the shtick. That's their bag. Someone told me once that ninjas would were, were like farmers or something. I don't know where that came from. Oh, I see. I oh okay. Wait, so we just stand on it? We just stand on it and it takes us across? Yeah, that... I thought I'd have to go underneath it and it would be a timing thing, but... Yeah, this is actually like the easiest room in this tower. Alright, cool. This is not... This is not the easiest room in this tower. For it is full of wizards! Everyone's worst fear, a room full of wizards. Like generally, like in high fantasy settings, you you find you, you come across a wizard and it's a big deal, the big scary, all powerful demigod beings, you know. In this fiction, there's just fucking wizards everywhere. You, you come across one and it's like, oh, only one today. Only one all powerful god being that can cast magic at me, I can teleport and shoot magical bullets. I mean, that's nothing. What is this room now? Oh, I see. So it's gonna... Alright, whatever. Let's just go for it, see what happens. I mean, sure. Oh, what? No! No, I... That's not what I did. <laughs> I want to hit the lower one. There we go. Yeah, that was, again, another weirdly easy room. That's not a boss. I thought I might be indicating a boss because of the two lanterns either side of the save point. But, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 my good friend. This is not how we play around here. This is... This is not cool. I mean, it's just it's just your basic crumbling platform puzzle, isn't it? But it's just the lasers. They're very intimidating. Hey, a shop. Hey, dude. Wait, I thought the shop was physically behind that other door earlier. Oh, so this is the moment that got you. My shop is connected all over the world, and that's totally fine. But somehow it can't be in the same building twice. I can't believe you. Uh, nothing to nothing to get here because I've been feeding all of my pickups to uh, my little my little demon friend. How nice! <sighs> I should have got those two. Hang on, let me just go back. <laughs> just go back a sec. Okay, interesting. This might be the boss then. But then he didn't talk about a boss. He normally talks about a boss if I'm going to come up against a boss. Maybe there is no boss in this tower. But then there wasn't a boss in the last area either, so that would be a long time without a boss. Is this a boss? Oh, I've forgotten these guys' voices now. Ahem! And so it you made it through the test of will. 
This guy just sounded like me, didn't he? <laughs> oh, we're gonna we're going to do the thing now. Prepare yourself, messenger, and behold the might of our order. We shall emerge as the chosen one, or not at all. Or you shall emerge as it, actually, not we. We won't emerge as the chosen one. We're we we're, we're weird, creepy boys. Enough introductions. I'm going first. Bye. Well, someone's excited. I've been preparing this speech for decades, and he just... You'll get over it. Let's go. Cool. I beat him. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. All right. Okay. But how... Can I... Aha, I can. Yeah, well, I'm just going to stay up here. I'm perfectly fine over here. Oh, damn. Okay, I'm no longer perfectly fine. Oh, I can do this though. I don't know how I didn't get hurt from that. I clearly got dragged through the big pink bullets. Yeah. Yeah. I've got this down. I got this boss down. Oh. <laughs> Still got it down though. Uh-huh, 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 u
the second phase. God damn, it's rough. It's a rough second phase. Oh, I fucked that up, didn't I? It's meant to have. Uh, it's meant to have gone up. That's fine. Just means I take a bit longer getting around to doing the damage. Doesn't mean I'm not going to do it eventually. I'm pretty confident I can get to phase two without any major issues. It's just that phase two, dude. It's just, like, seriously. Like seriously, like for reals. Right, to make sure we land here. It's after three hits that they uh, that they clap and knock you off. So if you do two and then get yourself in the perfect position to just fucking hammer it for a minute, you can really get the, get the advantage. Phase two. I don't exactly know what to expect. Okay, we've got this. Is it this one that's safe? Nope. I should just move to the middle on that on the third one, shouldn't I? Uh, I want to get up. I want to get up. Let me get up. Land here now, hopefully. That'll allow me to skirt this phase, which is the one that's been fucking me up this whole time. Alright, so far so good. I think we do want to be back on the ground now. Always think it's the middle ones first, not the outer ones first, but it's fine. Let's go to the middle. Nope, nope, okay, that changes. Good to know, good to know that changes. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> Don't you fucking dare knock me off now. Okay, that was pretty, pretty, pretty fucking shitty of me, because now I'm stuck doing this phase that I really don't want to do. In fact, yeah, I'll just be over here. Oof, okay. That didn't quite work as I planned. Right, shoot your beams at me. Oh no, we got this. Okay. This is fine. Hey, got him. And what did I use that shuriken for? What did I use that shuriken for? Okay, he's not too bad. I was uh, getting getting stuck in my head a bit with that one. Genuinely isn't a particularly hard boss, I was just getting really caught up on the minor details of it. Anyway, let's hit this. Let's see what this means. Oh, I think he's coming. Please let me do the prophecy bit this time. I'm staying out of this, do whatever you want. Ahem, and so you made it through the test of might. Okay, what's next? Ahem, to fulfill the prophecy, you must now pass the test of faith by taking the leap. The leap? Ahem, the leap, yes. I don't get it. Well, the test of faith, leap, leap of faith, Ma makes sense, no? Oh, just jump already. Come on, when I was trying to have an epic moment here. <clears throat> now, hero, lend your courage to hope and your strength to purpose and dive into your destiny to emerge as the one true messenger. There's updrafts, right? Those look like updrafts. So I should just be able to... Nope, okay. Cool. I guess not. Alright. Alright, I'm... I'm falling real good. Oh, I've got a hat. Hang on. 
I've got an entire new outfit. I've got an entire new style. I might even have better pixel resolution. I can't tell. <laughs> Let us be on with it. Oh yeah, I definitely have better pixel resolution, because so does fucking everything else. Yeah, the... This area is just prettier. They really went all out. I, I, I don't know if this is the last area in the game, but I've changed my animations and everything. This is really neat. Is this the plot twist that we're talking about? What's going on about the plot twist? Is the plot twist that the game is prettier now? Because that's a pretty cool plot twist. <laughs> We've kind of moved on to sort of late era Genesis at this point. In fact, I wouldn't. Even, uh, it wouldn't look out of place on like the PlayStation sprite art like this. Very neat. I just. I don't know, it seems almost weird to. have your game look like this, but pretend it looks. I mean, it didn't look bad previously, obviously, but pretend it looks worse for people for the first, like, four hours of the game. And then you reach the top of a tower and it, it, it suddenly. it suddenly looks a lot. Okay, that didn't go well. Whatever I got through. Let's have a little chat with our shopkeeper friend. The music's... The music's high a bit as well, isn't it? Hmm. What happened? I walked or something and everything looks different now. Hello? Okay, that is a really cool hat. Seriously, wow! Any idea what happened, though? Sorry, I just can't get over the hat! Welcome to the Cloud Ruins, remnants of a civilization of giants that used to live in the sky. This place is beautiful, but the structures feel precarious. Also, why the fuck am I here? What is the point? I, I got to the top of the mountain like I was supposed to, and now uh, it's just uh, like the, the, the graphics changed, and for some reason I'm just... Still just wandering about. I don't really know where I'm going anymore. Yeah, bad place if you're afraid of heights. How oh, high am I? You mean, in my opinion? What? Oh, geographically. Well, you entered the Tower of Time at the top of the mountain and then exited through the top of the tower. So I'd say fairly high. Enjoy the sights. What, what is the deal with everything looking so different? You know, I was wondering how you were going to deal with the implications of time travel. It seems ignorance really is bliss. Bon? That moment in the Tower of Time. Yeah. It sent you to the future. Neat. Yes, precisely. Neat. Do you have any stories to share? Of course, here's one for you. There once was a starving little boy who never missed a chance to help his fellow villagers. One day, after helping an old man carry a heavy bundle of wheat, he was offered a loaf of bread. Eat your fill, my boy. It is well deserved, he began. But if you feel like helping even more, there are two gnomes hiding in the forest who are even hungrier than you are. Now that boy was an empathetic one. His mind was made up instantly. After a short hike, he found the gnomes and split the bread between the two of them, without even saving a bite for himself. Thank you, kind little boy, the gnomes beamed. It seems you have lifted our curse. Indeed, to punish them for their greed, a spirit had put them under a rather annoying spell. They were exiled to the forest carrying a magic little mill capable of producing anything its bearer desired. But the little mill's magic could only be activated once the gnomes were fed by a stranger acting out of selfless generosity. To starve while carrying a relic promising abundance, a cruel fate indeed. Now you can imagine the little boy's surprise when he was given the magic item. Name something you want while turning the crank to the right, and the little mill will produce an endless stream of it, the gnomes explained. Turn it to the left and it will stop. 
Creating a huge pile of food for the two gnomes, the young boy went back to his village to help po the populace with his newfound powers. But as he grew in popularity, his older sister grew in jealousy. One night, she couldn't take it anymore and stole the little mill from her brother's bedside table, along with two leftover pies from that afternoon's feast. Adding insult to injury, she left on the family's fishing boat to reach new lands, hoping to have her turn in the role of the popular purveyor. Once out at sea, she decided to try one of the pies, which her taste was rather lacking a little something. It was time to try that little mill's magic, she reckoned. Give me salt, she said, turning the crank to the right. And salt she got. Heaps and heaps of it. Now, older sister had never bothered paying attention to how the mill could be stopped. Stop, little mill, stop, she shouted, first annoyed, then worried, and finally panicked. Soot, so, salt, salt soon overflowed the boat itself, sinking it under the weight. It is said that the sunken little mill is still operational to this day, and is the reason why seawater is salty. The end. That was interesting, but it feels more like a kid's story explaining things about the world we know the actual reason for. Tough crowd, huh? Why don't you tell me a story and I'll judge it? So, you're looking for additional takeaways. How about this? Seeing how Big Sister's anger led to her demise, irritated people were henceforth referred to as salty. Oh, I got another one. Seeing how Big Sister's shortcomings as a little mill operator led to her demise, unqualified people with hen were henceforth referred to as not being worth their salt. Hey, this is fun. You should go. I'll, I'll keep on coming up with morals to do with salt. Alright, I still can't afford this last upgrade, so uh, I guess I'll just be on my merry way. Nice nice talking to you. Uh, I still don't really get what my purpose is anymore. Like, I, I delivered the message, and now I'm just sort of fucking wandering about. I'm just... Oi! Oi! Don't do that! Oh, fuck off. I wasn't close enough to those spikes. I was moving away from the other ones because I thought I was too close to those. I'm never going to collect any more time... time magics. Time shards. Is... This is it now. I'm just going to have this little slightly, slightly better shaded demon following me around now. For the rest of time. Oh no, I want that. There we go. What? What are you? <laughs> well, I killed her. I don't know if I was meant to. Oh, she's back. Hello. <laughs> it's like a ghost of a, 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 a lost maiden comes over to you wishing for a final request to be fulfilled and you just, you just fucking stab her. There's going to be something down there, isn't there? What's down here? Oh, okay, it just seems like we have we have options. I guess we'll go this way since we've sort of started coming this way anyway. Is this? Oh, neat. Those ghost things, I mean, they're basically the only enemies we've come across. Obviously, there's lots of things that can kill me in this area, but they're the only actual enemies I've come across, and they seem like pretty much the easiest enemies in the game. Which makes me think I'm being lured into a false sense of security. And that, like, in a minute I'm gonna, like, start coming across loads of that one dude with the with the halberd. You know the dude. There's just gonna be clones of him everywhere. Ah, fuck. I tried. I really did try. Is there something up there? No, I want... I... No. No. Stop. Stop killing me. There's definitely... I don't know if there's anything else after that lantern, but... I want the lantern. I don't know why I care so much, but I, I do. I just... Can I hook shot to that? I can. Okay, cool. That makes it a little bit easier. I've not really been using the hook shot much recently, because I've not, like, had to. So it's, it's sort of... Fallen out of my head as a useful tool. I need to get back into the habit of that, I guess. Fully expected to land in spikes down here, so uh, thanks for, for not doing that, video game. That's super sweet of you. You're a, you're a 
You're an upright dame. I'm assuming the video game's a girl. I won't be spending this much time playing with the dude. Just stands to good reason, right? I mean, I'm sure I can make that Oh wait, hang on. Hookshot. <laughs> hookshot. Guys, hookshot. Guy guys, hookshot then. The I feel like there's something up there. The fact that there's an empty space above it. I can't seem to grab onto the wall. I sent through a shuriken because I was mashing all the buttons too hard. Oh, this is fucking rough. I can't climb on the rest of that wall. I have to jump from spikes to spikes. Oh, I hate this. It's so rough. Wow. I'm not sure I'm ever going to be able to do that. I think this let's play might end here. <laughs> I, I, that is, that is, that is, words escape me for how mean that is. I'm not missing something really obvious that I can do here to make this like a million times easier, am I? I guess I can hook shot to them, which will make the jump a little bit quicker. Yeah, okay. The hook shot does actually. It shaves like a fraction of a second off your time, but it that fraction of a second is so pleasant to have. I wanna get those down there, I'm assuming I just I just I just yeah? In here? You think in here? I think in here. Yay! Free stuff! Kinda. <laughs> More challenge to it than I was expecting, honestly, but... See, I can jump over to that other side, but if I do that, I won't be able to get back again. So I guess I should probably see what's up first. Because there was a, a whole mess of stuff over there. Just a couple of lanterns. That's fine. Please. Please let me go through here. I accidentally ended up here and I don't want to throw it away. It feels like such a nice place to be. Uh, I can't really afford anything yet. No real point stopping off at shopkeeper friend. Are these? Oh, he's going to give me something that lets like, me like walk on clouds or something, isn't he? I should probably, I should probably hop. Has he copied my hat? <laughs> this dude. So uh, cool hat. Oh, you like that? Is it why you chose to wear one as well? What? Well, you have the same hat. No, I got it first. Oh, is that what you're going to tell yourself? Fine. I I did have the hat first and you were all over it. Right, yeah, that happened, sure. It's true, though. Look, you can put your head in... in sand, um, try that word again. Look, you can put your head in the sand all you want in an attempt to preserve your ego. But clearly, it's not going to work on the person who was there when it all happened. Okay. Alright. I thought he was going to give me a tour to work, walk on clouds, but he's just going to be a, a hat dick instead. I guess I can just walk on clouds. I guess that's just a thing I can do. Oh! Oh, hello! Hi! That's a one shot. I It's because I stopped on the clouds. I wanted to see if the clouds were disappearing or something, so I paused for a second instead of just, just running. It's a lot faster than I am.
Yeah, piss off. Yeah, get lost, you nerd. You're not so tough. Think you're strong just because you can fly and are a dragon and can one-shot me. But that's not true. I could probably talk to the shopkeeper about that now, but I'm not gonna. You, you really have to just go away. Thank you. I knew it would respawn. I felt it in my bones. Felt it in my blood. Felt it in my jelly. Felt it in my water. Felt it in my... Mm. Okay. Alright. Again, another area that was clearly made to look intimidating, but... It was really sweet when you got, got to know it. Deep down. Well, that wasn't worth it. <laughs> I wanted the health pickup. How foolish I was to think that I would just be allowed to go and get it. Oh. Bye. This may have been a mistake. <laughs> I'll concede that now. Neat. I'm going to die here. I don't mean to be like a pessimist or a drama queen or whatever, but I'm not getting through this one alive. I touch one of those spikes, I die. I do not have the health for this area. Well, Joe, you pessimist and drama queen. How about you stop being such a pessimist and a drama queen? Sometimes, sometimes things just work out for you, you know? And sometimes you assume your hook shot is longer than it is and walk off a cliff. You know, it's one of those sort of give and take scenarios. Don't give me two health pickups. I need money to pay off my crippling debt. <laughs> oh, really? 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 You're going to bounce me off a little fucking pixel on the roof and... Stop me from, from landing where I want to land. I don't think that's a... It's a very nice attitude to have, honestly. Ooh. Stayed on the platform. Should have stayed on the platform. You live and learn, honestly. Sometimes things work out for you. Sometimes you uh, you adapt and overcome. And that's exactly what I'm planning on doing. The the adapting and overcoming thing. Is overcoming when you just come too much. <laughs> there's just there's just too much jism. I mean, it sounds right, right? Uh, see, I don't really like this area either, if I'm honest. I'm probably less likely to die in that area than I am in this one, though. I'm not seeing a symbol for one of those green coins, so I'm assuming it's just it's just dollars in this direction. In which case, you know what? Fuck it. Not worth it. Not worth the drama. Oh. So this was just the dollar direction all along. What a fool I was to not see that. Okay, well then, in that case... Can we just talk about this zone for a second? <laughs> I'm not even sure what I'm meant to do here. Oh, that. Okay, cool. Neat. Neato. 
totally fucking radical. I should apologise if my commentary isn't exactly setting the world on fire right now, but uh, god damn, this game is just so fucking tense. There's not really a, a moment where I can just stop and think about trying to be, you know, trying to be witty or insightful or in any way intelligent. All I can do is just uh, accidentally throw two shuriken. But I got through. I got through. That's the important thing. Yeah, all I've really got right now is the, the focus on the game. I'm in epic gamer mode, and there's no re there's no coming back from that, unfortunately. Ah, I see you discarded the hat. Not got nothing for me though. I'm worried about going back out in the clouds because I have a feeling that's probably going to mean more dragons, but here goes. Oh, this is... This is tough. I don't know if I can, like, hit the dragon or anything. If I can, like, knock him back. Keep him from being a dick. This one is... Thank you. Thank you for giving me those hookshot targets to speed me up a little bit. Fuck. Oh, really? Really? I've died 73 times already. 73? 73 is a real big number. I don't know how, how aware you guys are about how numbers work, but that's that's a big one. Like imagine imagine ima imagine like ten ten deaths, because that's quite a few, right? Now imagine I did that like seven times. And then had like some extra ones on top. Oh I'm fucked now, aren't I? I am fuckoed now. Or maybe not. Not yet, at least. It's coming. My comeuppance is coming. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, I didn't deserve to do that. I did not deserve that. I should, by all rights, have failed miserably, but... Hey, guess what? I didn't. This doesn't seem too bad. I feel like these are meant to be moving faster than this. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Bitches! <laughs> I forgot that my shuriken can pierce. Oh wow, that's very rude. Is it possible to get across there without launching yourself into spikes, I wonder? I guess I could probably bounce off the ghosts. Probably how you do it, right? I don't know why I'm risking fucking life and limb to get these, but... I kind of wanted them. I like having things, especially when they're shiny things. Okay, we have two choices. I'm feeling left. Yeah, I figured. Figured this would probably be the case. Did I, did, was there a save point? There was a save point up there, cool. So I can try this to my heart's content. Good to know. I like that one in the fucking time tower that was just miles from a checkpoint and easily the hardest one of these I've ever had to do. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I like how I jumped off and then managed to jump back on again. That was uh, some impressive button mashing that just happened to pull through for me. Again, I still have like 30 something of these to get though. Like, how, how big is this game? Am I gonna, gonna like keep advancing? Am I gonna be like a blocky PS1 model soon? I'm gonna take that step from gorgeous sprite art to awful early 3D. Is that gonna be? something that comes comes along 
I hope not. I know there's games recently that have been uh, really going for the sort of retro 3D aesthetic. I mean, Anodyne 2 was my game of the year last year, and that looked like a, a, a fucking ugly ass uh, PS1 game. So, I mean, you can pull off that aesthetic, but people shouldn't try, because 99 times out of 100 it's going to look like ass. There's a, there's a turtle man running for his life here too. I feel some camaraderie. How goes it, turtle man? Oh, not well, because you don't have a hook shot. I'm real sorry about that. Oh, fucking... <laughs> the easiest jump in the entire thing, and it's the one I fuck up. Typical. Fucking typical. I can do this, though. So, are we assuming this dragon is going to be the boss of this zone? Is that going to be a safe bet? That's usually how this goes, right? You get chased through the zone by the boss a few times, and then you, it corners you, and you have no choice but to fight it, and... Yeah. We can all see it coming. Mm, that was not good. It's okay, I've still got a, a decent lead on this boy, though. Oh, fuck. Yeah! Yeah, later, nerd. I'm actually quite good at those areas. Or maybe they're just easy, who knows. <sighs> Anything else to, to add, my good friend shopkeeper? You want to talk about that dragon at all yet? He does, because I think I just reached the level boss. Hey, I'm not sure what's up next, but the Prophet warned me to repeat a line for you at this point in the adventure. Who the fuck is the Prophet? Alright, let's hear it. Okay, I always wanted to try the voice. Check it out. <clears throat> and on this day... God, doing a, doing a voice of someone doing a voice is not fun. And on this day, the messenger shall unwittingly make his lifesaver indebted to him. And that means... I'm not sure, but if all else fails, attack the fireballs. Okay, attack the fireballs. I will remember that. Uh, well, I probably won't, actually, because I'm actually going to stop now. I don't know how long this video is actually going to be once I edit it, but I, I died a lot on that golem boss. So, uh, yeah, we're going to stop here. Um, I will see you for attacking fireballs next time, probably fighting a dragon, and it will be fun and games for everyone. I'll see you around. Bye-bye!